everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome, productive day. Today I want to show you something that has helped me and I hope that it will help you. And that is the pantry. I've had this issue where I go into my pantry and find canned foods or any kind of foods that has expired. Look what I found. Three unopened bottles and they're all expired. See, this is what gets me angry. And sometimes I even have the issue of repurchasing the same thing over and over every time I go on a shopping trip, thinking that I did not have this item. So what I started doing is, is I started writing down an inventory of all the things that I have in my cabinet, my refrigerator, or the freezer. Now this is the issue. Every time I put down something with the amount that I have, every time I use it or repurchase it, I then have to erase the number and rewrite it became a little annoying so what i did was is i looked up an app that has helped me with my um, inventory now this is not sponsored this is just something that i want to show you guys something that i have been enjoying and that has been helping me and my family so this is an app that i um, actually found that is extremely extremely helpful let me show you Okay, so this is the name of the app, Pantry Check. Now it's really easy. All you have to do is go on the top where you see the little plus sign. The scanner will pop up. You scan the barcode to the item that you want to do inventory in. Just like that. And then you have the option to put the expiration date down on the bottom. and you can continue uh, scanning all your canned goods. And this will keep tabs on your groceries and the expiration date. And there's actually a button on this app that you can click and it will let you know if something is expired or that is going to expire. See, as you can see, um, it scans basically all the cans and if there is um, one can that it does not recognize you do have the option to manually put it in like so it's really easy just to program it all right so once you have put all your canned goods into your digital inventory you can actually see everything you have in your um, app by just clicking the bottom left tab where it says inventory and it'll show you everything. Also, many of the cans that you will scan will have different expiration dates. You also have that option to switch over the dates, which is great because then you could determine which ones you're gonna use up first. And when you're in the supermarket, you know if you need to buy more of these cans um goods or not by you looking at the expiration date on your app so another thing that this app has is that it will notify you if you allow it to let you know when things are going to expire within a couple of days or within a couple of weeks or months which is great because then it will allow you to kind of plan around your meal preps or when you go to the supermarket you know that you need to buy more of that item um so here i am gonna allow and as you can see um, i have one item soon to expire and i have three items that is about to expire in a couple of weeks or months so I have my PBJ that is about to expire in six days. You can see that in the bottom of the um, name of the item. And um, I have also my pasta sauce and my compound sauce that is about to expire in 2.5 weeks and three months. So I used to use my phone to pretty much write down everything that I needed to purchase on my next shopping uh, trip. But I am using now these, this app. It 
not only does it show you pictures, but it shows you the pictures of everything that you have in your pantry. It also gives you some um, restocking suggestions or um, items that are popular that other people purchase, like bananas, avocado, lemon. And these are things that I do have in my pantry, but I have not finished doing full inventory. So that's why it's showing me um, things that I would have originally. So once you click on the picture of the item that you're going to purchase, um, it's going to ask you for an expiration date. It's going to ask you for the price and the total amount of milks you're going to purchase that day. Now, the reason why it's asking you for the expiration date on the milk is because remember you're doing inventory of everything you have in your refrigerator. So it wants to know so that it can notify you when the milk is going to expire. Um, I also like the fact that it gives you an option to put the price. You can go on and put your store of choice and it will generate the price that they have in their store. And if you see that it's not the correct price, then you have also the option to edit that information. Here I am going to place, well actually type Walmart as my supermarket of choice. It's going to tell me that it doesn't have the database update information yet, but it will. I also like the fact that as you are building your shopping list, it's actually totaling up everything for you so that you kind of sort of know how much you're going to spend. All right, guys, so this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You have learned something. There's nothing like opening up your cabinet doors and seeing your food expired and knowing that you spent a lot of money on this. I hope that you give this app a chance. If you have any comments, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a blessed, awesome, amazing day. Bye, guys.